Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I am redesigning a logo that I made way back in college when I was 17 years old. Now I've definitely improved as a designer since then, so I think it's gonna be really exciting to see exactly what I can do with the logo and brand right now with my current design skills. So if you are ready, sit back, grab something to eat, and let's get on with the design. First things first, we are taking a trip back down memory lane. I'm gonna introduce you to the logo and the brand that was made way back in college when I was 17 years old. I'm also gonna get you guys to rate this out of 10. I'm gonna give it a solid four. Potentially it's gonna be a three because I'm pretty sure I had no idea how to use Illustrator back then. But we basically had to come up with a brand from scratch, the concepts, the name, everything, the whole works. So I came up with an ice cream brand that was called Cool Comfort. So we've got the cool aspects of the ice cream, we've got the comfort for comfort food. So I feel like 17 year old me knew exactly what she was doing. I love coming up with the names and it was obviously clear back then. I feel like that's still a good name right now. Anyway, I'm gonna show you the logo designs. So. For the logo, we have a very illustrative logo with an ice cream mascot, which is pretty cute, but the typography is very questionable. It is bringing back a lot of memories. So I remember drawing that typography out, scanning it in and literally just filling it with paint. That is how technical it got. And then I just stuck it on the mascot. Um, and then we've got a glorious, menu design which I am I'm horrified like I we're not gonna get into it I might do a video of me going and reviewing some of my old designs but this one is very questionable I have no idea what I was thinking but we move we're gonna make this a beautiful brand um, and then I've got a very questionable poster I don't even know where to look the typography the I just, I'm cringing at my 17 year old self. Anyway, we are gonna be completely redesigning this brand. And when I first thought of the vision and direction of where I want to take this brand, the most obvious thing that came into my head was going for a really funky, a really out there, a really bold ice cream brand. But that's where I am most comfortable designing. And you guys know with these YouTube videos, I really like to try and push myself outside my comfort zone. So for this brand, I've decided to do the complete opposite and go for a more modern, a more luxe, a more premium ice cream brand, which I think will be really fun. So I have put together my very own mood board based off of this vision of going more for the luxe, the more premium and the more modern ice cream brand. So we've got some beautiful packaging, some imagery, some typography. But if you do wanna learn more about mood boards, I have done a video on this about the whole process that I go through, which is a lot more detailed. The next step of this process is finding the perfect typography. And I'm gonna head over to Envato Elements, who is actually a sponsor of this video. Uh, they are my go-to place for mock-ups and fonts, as you guys know. So I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna find some beautiful sans serif typefaces. The fonts have now been sourced and I've actually only chosen three today. So it is quite harder with sans serif typefaces because they are quite similar. Um, but these three definitely spoke to me. They just jumped out at me and said choose me choose me so I've chosen them and I'm now gonna whittle these down to one so within these these two are very wide they're very spaced out and I like that feeling it kind of just makes you feel a bit free and that the ice cream isn't sort of squished in the box it's just nice and cool which is the approach we're going for so I like that feeling but looking at them together now. This is why I like doing this process because on their own, they might look really good, but once you start comparing them to other fonts, that's when you might not like it anymore. So the top one now, I am not liking compared to this one in the middle. So I do really like that R though. So that might be a feature I include. So I'm just gonna move this font up here. Now we have two, because this one is so spaced out, this bottom one looks a lot more squished, but I do really like that. I'm not sure on the top one, it's kind of giving me like computer vibes. <laughs> I don't know, it's just more, yeah, I'm not, do you know what? I'm not feeling that anymore. I think it's just too wide. I'm gonna go for this one. Um, 
And the good thing with sans serif typefaces is that they can be manipulated, they can completely change, and it's the most exciting part of designing the logo. Okay, first things first is figuring out the layout of this logo. So I think I wanna go for the stacked position where the two words are sat nicely on top of each other. It works nicely because cool is a lot shorter than comfort, so it just feels a lot more comfortable. Um, and also, when you sort of scoop ice cream, you normally would put them on top of each other, either in a cone or in a bowl, so that works nicely too. Next, I'm gonna start manipulating some of these letters. So I mentioned that I liked the R in the other logo, the sort of stem of it was just really nice and curved, and it did remind me of I don't know, like digging in with like your spoon to the ice cream. It just gives a nice sort of sense of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and manipulate this R um, and change how it looks. Okay, next I'm gonna have a play around with the F. So at the moment there is no sort of direction to this brand. And because we've manipulated the R, the sort of arm of the F would work really nicely going into the R. And it kind of just reminds me, you know in some ice cream tubs you have like that centre core of like caramel or I don't know, in like Ben and Jerry's you have like a core that is there. It just reminds me of that like dripping and going into the core. So it gives it a nice sense of direction and it looks really, really nice. So that is pretty much there. I think I'm just gonna move the line out so that the F is more defined um, and it looks more like an F because at the moment it's kind of getting a little lost with everything else and I'm just gonna have a play around with some of the spacing because I don't know I feel like the T is a bit too far out at the moment so I'm gonna have a play around and make sure that to the eye it looks comfortable because it's cool comfort so we want everything to look comfortable to the eye um, so I'm gonna just adjust a few of these things. So the primary and the secondary logo of being stacked and in a landscape position have been done and just manipulating it slightly and adding in those tweaks has made it feel a lot more premium and just looking at it you know that the quality of the ice cream is gonna be good and that's exactly what we want to get from branding. So the next stage is completing the logo mark. So I wanna include maybe like the C's together. I don't know how, I'm gonna have a play around and just see how that will work. But basically just creating a really nice logo mark that you know that that is that brand from the logo mark. So I'm gonna have a play around with that. Um, and it's actually a good place for me to say that when you create logo marks or logos that you don't wanna use the most obvious thing. So 17 year old me back in the day at college used an ice cream, which is the most obvious thing you could think of for this brand. So when designing, you wanna make sure that things are subtle and it still kind of says what it is, but you're not just putting the most obvious symbol on there, which would be an ice cream because everybody else is gonna do that. And for us and the branding and for the client, we want to be distinguished between our competitors. So making sure you're not going for the obvious is the best thing that you can do. Okay, we are gonna make the logo mark and I'm gonna play off the letter C. So I maybe could make a really nice sort of repeated radial pattern. That's pretty cool. Um, I mean, it's giving me like flower vibes. We've got like a really cute sort of flower that's been made, but I can't see this working for the ice cream brand. Although it looks really, really cute and it uses the letter C, it's not working, it's not giving me ice cream vibes. So let's go back to drawing board. Maybe I could play off sort of the circles and include the subtle factor of sort of ice cream scoops, but not make it obvious that it is ice cream scoops. Um, so we could overlay the two circles. Do you know what, that works. It's like the three scoops, got two at the bottom, and then we've got the one in the center. And then it's sort of directing your eyes to the C. That works, okay, that looks really cool. It looks really cool with the other um, logo variations as well. And it's got that reminder of the lines from Comfort where it's going all the way through. So I'm not mad, I, I like it. <laughs> it's also giving me that sort of core center again. Like I mentioned before about some ice creams having a core, that could be Cool Comfort's thing that everyone has sort of a really deep core or filled with stuff. It could be like brownies, cookies, that could be the thing. So revolving this around the core from comfort, sort of directing your eyes through the core of the ice cream and then this logo mark there being like a center and a core. I really, really like that. So it is my, probably my 
favorite part about this process, which is adding in some color palettes and really bringing this brand to life. I think I've mentioned it before, but it's always best to start designing in black and white so that you know that the layout and the composition of the logo is gonna work and you're not getting distracted by the colors first. It also reassures you that the logo can be applied in any situation. So a little tip for you, start designing in black and white, then add in the color. So I have no idea what colors I wanna go for, so I'm gonna do a little bit of research. I definitely, think I want to go for like the pastel vibe. So from my mood board, we've got some really nice sort of blush pinks, some blush blues, blush blues, that's a tongue twister. Um, but I feel, I can feel the brand going down that, maybe including like a really nice like ash gray. Um, just going away from the norm of like the bright, the bold, the bubbly, which I initially wanted to do. Okay, colors have been chosen and I was sort of swaying between using a green or a blue, but I thought the blue would work a lot nicer to sort of link in with that ice cream, that cold feeling. Um, and we've gone for more of like the pastel -y colors instead of going bright and bold. Um, we've got the really nice comforting color of pink, and then we've got the contrast of the black and the really nice cream, sort of represent the ice cream as a whole, like the vanilla ice cream, that is the core ice cream that you would find anywhere. So I think these colors work really, really nicely, and they have definitely, brought the brand to life and I'm really excited to start exploring it more. We're gonna go and find some really nice photography um, and then hopefully I can start with some mock-ups and bringing this brand really to life. Okay, photography has been sourced from Pexels and it looks so good seeing everything together. A little tip when you're choosing the direction of the photography is to make sure that it sits really nicely with your design style. So for example, if I would have chosen some photography styles that were really bold, really colorful, really playful, it just wouldn't sit right with the design style that I've gone for. So I've gone for a more premium, more laid back sort of style and the photography definitely demonstrates this. So I wasn't gonna do a pattern Pattern, but I really want to make one now so I'm just gonna take um, these circles from the logo mark and I'm just gonna create a really nice simple pattern that could possibly be used within the packaging um, I just want to give it a more premium feel to what it is already so I'm just gonna grab some of the circles and have a play around and hopefully create a pattern she is looking mighty fine I'm so glad that I decided to go for a pattern for this brand Everything ties in really nicely, which is really important when you're creating the brand. You don't want anything to sort of be left out or not look right. So the pattern, the logo variations, the logo mark, it just looks really, really beautiful. And I like the brand. Let me know what you think of the brand in the comments. Um, the next stage that I'm gonna do is the mock-up. So I'm gonna head over to Envato. I think I saw a really nice ice cream tub mock-up. So I'm really gonna bring this brand to life by mock-ups. Um, so I'm gonna find that. I think I might do a menu design as well. So as you saw at the start, I did a horrific menu design back in the day when I was 17 and it was awful. So I might do the design of that um, and then showcase that at the end. So I am gonna introduce you to Cool Comfort. So that is the branding complete of me redesigning a cool comfort, which was an idea back in college and I've made it into a more premium and more modern, more luxe brand. Please let me know your thoughts and feedback in the comments. I'm really glad that I decided to not go for my initial idea, which was to go really bold, really funky. It's really pushed me outside my comfort zone today because I do really struggle with going for the more minimal and more sort of luxe vibe because my style is definitely more bold, more bright, more bubbly. So this has pushed me and I think I've done it some sort of justice. Let me know your thoughts and feedback in the comments if you have enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more videos just like this